Hey everybody, this is Dan for Games Beyond Cars. Now, my voice is a little funky because I think I'm getting sick. Um, I had to go to work early this morning and I wanted to come by this Jeep dealer here to take a look at these Gladiators because I've seen a couple in person but I haven't really had any opportunity to sort of poke around them. And I really think if I was a truck guy, and I am not a truck guy at all, but if I was a truck guy, I would totally get a Gladiator Rubicon. I think they are just so aggressive looking. I don't understand why Jeep didn't make this truck like 15, 20 years ago. You know, it just came out of the last couple of years, but there's a couple different trim levels of Gladiator here that we're gonna take a look at, and I think the Rubicon is the best one. So let's take a look at some Gladiators. Now it's it's like 25 degrees here in Mechanicsburg on a Sunday and this right here, this truck is the base model I'll say. I don't know what the trim is called, I just know that it's the base model because it has the smaller tires and doesn't have as much you know fancy stuff as this one. Now this one right here is the white, this white Rubicon. I mean I just really love the look of these cars and just to take a, a little example, here's a, a four-door Wrangler of pretty much exactly the same spec, which is the four-door Wrangler, and then this is the Gladiator. So this is the money shot right here. Now they have a five-foot bed, which is not the biggest bed for a truck right here, you can see. But, I mean, someone that buys this car or truck, they're going to take it off-roading, they're you know use it as a daily driver, which you could do. This one is actually a six-speed manual, which would be so much fun. I really need to come back here and see if they let me take one of these out for a drive. But there's the four-door Wrangler Rubicon. The tires look so nice and aggressive. You know, this car has such unbelievable off-road chops, but it just would be even more fun with the bed, and you could obviously take the, the roof off and everything. But I'm really liking this white. Uh, you got a backup camera right there. Your, your winches there are red. I just think it looks looks pretty cool. Kind of cool to see how the, the lights sort of stick out of the bed there. Yeah, this one sort of has some smaller wheels, which I think I'd, I like the look of these better. Those wheels right there. But I just think this Gladiator is pretty cool. Now, over here, this one is not a Rubicon. I think this is a base model one, but it has the huge tires. I mean, just look how big they are. I mean, if you're buying a Gladiator or a Wrangler, odds are you're probably going to take it off-roading. And here in Central PA, there's lots of places to go to go off-roading but I'm really digging this white one with the soft roof now when I was in college my buddy Steve had a two-door Wrangler and we took that thing on the highway with the soft top and I was like get me out of here this is like the worst you know it's the loudest you can just hear the, the soft top banging up but so if I got this one I would get a hard top for sure I mean just the soft top would be almost a deal breaker it just it's so much road noise plus you have the noise of the tires which that's why I guess I've never been a Jeep guy, just because I always knew they had such loud tires and the soft top just banging off everything and just so loud. But let's take a look at here. You can't really see the inside because of all the you know, icicles, but I just think this Gladiator would be a pretty kick-ass truck um, if I was in the market for a truck. Now, I think this this car, they, they hold their value like crazy, and I'm sure they're selling like crazy. I mean, they are not cheap. There's a there was a first edition one that was like sixty-two thousand dollars for this, which I think is a lot of money for a truck like this. But they hold their value very well. Yeah, this red one it just doesn't doesn't look as good. You almost need the bigger, knobbier tires. Yeah, you can even tell this one is just sitting higher than this one. But yeah, Jeep has endless you know capabilities of aftermarket you know brush guards and colors and lights and everything. But this this white one with the soft top and the six speed manual is really is really talking to me. I think this is this would be the truck to get. Now this there's a this black one over here. Yeah it just doesn't doesn't look as good. The tires look nice. Of course you've got the famous Jeep you know seven slats of the grill. It looks very good. But yeah this this white Rubicon is really I think the best looking one that we got here.
So yeah, I just wanted to take a look at these gladiators just to get up close and personal. Now, obviously, you can take the doors off, you can take the roof off, you can put the windshield down. That just would be so much fun in the summer. Now, you that are watching this video, what do you think of the Gladiator? Are you more a truck guy? Or are you more of a car person? I'm obviously more a car person. I've driven a few trucks on the channel, but not too many. But this Gladiator, I think, is the sweet spot. Um, I would prefer this over like a Tacoma or even like an F-150 or a Dodge Ram. The Dodge Rams are really nice, but that's like another level of luxury. You know, there's a couple of them over here. But I really dig what Jeep has done finally to bring the gladiator to the u.s market you know they've had aftermarket kits that you could put on your jeeps to make you know your four-door wranglers turn into you know a, a truck with an actual bed and everything but jeep it has a home run with the gladiator if i was a truck guy i would totally buy one so leave me a comment below let me know what you would think i'm getting cold <laughs> i'm gonna get some beauty shots of this gladiator and then we're gonna go home and watch some steelers today so leave me a comment below uh, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Gemi Dion Cars, and I will see you in the next one. See ya. All right, so here's an example of a Gladiator. I think it's the base model because it has the smaller tires. But this color is is interesting. You know, it's got obviously the military theme, which Jeeps are from the military. Speaking of the military, all Jeeps have this little little willies on the side there as like an easter egg my one video before I, I showed so many easter eggs that the jeep wranglers have and this this color uh, i don't think i like it 